more than happy to let you know that on this evil discussion of who this land belongs to, there is a great war. And actually that war began around 3,000 years ago when the people of Israel received from our Maker the blessing that he gave to Abraham, to Yitzhak and Yaakov for them to inherit and receive and be blessed with the Holy Land. Now the Holy Nation were undercover in so many ways. It's true that sometimes we ourselves don't even know, we're not really aware of our great being and our great enormous power, our talents and hidden forces that are treasured within us and even more so that the world is unable to recognize and understand the greatness of our people. But the truth is that we are channeling so much light down to earth in any blessing, in any prayer, in any learning of Torah, in any honest and beautiful action. While being connected through our simple faith to our Maker, we are channeling such a great amount of light to the world. So this evil discussion about who this land belongs to started thousands of years ago and until today dark forces are denying the true existence of in reality of our maker because he himself was the one to give us and bless us and testify and make it loud and clear that the land of Israel belonged to the people of Israel. And all this crazy scam of making up filthy stories and dark and lies of twisted theories like as if there is a Palestinian nation. We're talking about people, we're talking about souls with no shepherd, with no true guidings and leadership. We're talking about people who are suffering crazy poverty, being abused by leaders with awful dark agendas and motives to take control of them, to manipulate them for their own uses, to take advantage of their weaknesses, of the weakness and poverty of their own people, and using them as a shield for their evil purposes, forcing them to hate us, forcing them to make their children believe that we are their enemy while we are the most patient and beautiful full of grace state in the world that is allowing and embracing and respecting and supplying so much good and support to all its residents people here are so nice in the land of Israel people here are so pure People here are so kind and so nice and so lovely. And there is place and honor and respect for every human being that desires to live among us with peace. We're respecting everyone. We're supporting all the poor from all sections and all nations. And the greatness of the people of Israel, even though facing great rebukes and great fights and great insultings and great great war to erase and to deny our greatness by making up stories if it is to create a fake nation and to define them with a fake name Do you know what it means Palestine in the letters of Hebrew? I'll tell you a secret if you write the word Palestine so the letters Pal, Pe Lamed, means fall, and Stin, Samechtet Nun, or Samechtet Yud Nun, means the devil, Satan. So Pal Satan means that the devil will fall. Now, I don't say that people who call themselves Palestinians are the devil. I haven't said that. But the fake mythology and the fake lie of giving them a certain title and nationality that is based on fantasies 
on imaginations, on lies, throughout the hundred last years, making them believe that they have that nationality, while their nationality is just different. Doesn't mean that they do not deserve rights, does not mean that they does not deserve mercy and kindness and honor and respect while being kind and nice and normal. But unfortunately, they're being manipulated in horrible ways. And that lie and that scam for sure will fall, like the Creator revealed to us in the holy letters of Hebrew, Pal Satan, that the lie of Palestine nation will fall. But the good people, the good souls, the Arab, and the normal people that wants to live in peace will always find their place. And even if it will be among us, there is no problem. Good people are always welcome to stay. People that desire peace and love and to live their life with honor and mutual respect will always have place with the people of Israel. But if someone unfortunately is willing to fight, he might find himself facing our battleships and all of the forces of light against him and I don't recommend go on that route. May the blessing of goodness hover upon us all to heal and protect us and reveal the truth, to remove the darkness and the lie, all the scams and all the manipulations and to bring back the true light of the true Redeemer, the Mashiach of the people of Israel, from the family of Yosef and from the family of David. And may the resurrection of the dead take place in our days. Amen.